over 70 years since I became a surrealist, and 10 years since I died. I have worn my plunging suit before in London at the surrealist exhibition in 1936. Uh, there I am, see? When I heard you were launching another big show of me and my surreal friend, I just had to come along to give the event some gravitas. People love it. Everybody still want to know what is the secret of my success. Hmm? Thank you very much. Have you guessed it yet? Who I am? Of course you have. Hello. It's good to be back in London, no? Tali always feel at home in London. It's a good place for plunging, a good place for immersion. So, you want to be the most successful artist in the world? Hmm? You want to be a surrealist? Hmm? It's easy. A surrealist must have panache. The surrealist always had the panache. It was the thirties. It was Paris. We were the real thing. There was my old friend, Bunuel, the filmmaker. There was Aragon, the communist. Rosie and the Boer, surrealist, foot soldier, inseparable. Eluard, the poet, Yoyote. An unfortunate choice. Kala, the Russian, the surrealist muse. Man Ray, Max Ernst, and the Belgian Magritte were seldom seen. And there was Breton. Andre Breton was the leader, the father, the surrealist pop. But if Breton was Pope, I was the Sorel Messiah. I was the famous one. For the blasphemy of my success, Breton saw fit to put me on trial. I was charged with crimes against Soralism. The trial took place in Breton's apartment in 1934. Six o'clock. So many absentees. How disappointing. The fascists are gathering in the streets. Blood will be spilled. To show confederacy with murderers is to betray our ideology. Aragon should be less melodramatic. Surrealists will demonstrate reason. Your yacht will stop touching things. That was one of our best pieces. Leave it alone. Dali shows us no reason. Be calm. The matter is well in hand. The man is a fascist. We've all been seduced. You most of all. Calm down. Breton has no intention of succumbing to sentimentality. We expect action! The evening of the trial, I felt a mixture of fear and supreme arrogance. The divine Dali was in a sublime condition. They think I'm going to die? It's only a fever. Be brave. Here. Have a sip of water. Come on, sit up. This will off. <laughs> I'm producing a lot of nose juice. Well, then use your handkerchief. <laughs> My body feels like a bag of mud. Soiling our sheets, are you? Sorry, dear. I'll clean up before we go. Leave it. 
hits out. Breton and his angry friends resented my success. Dali's honor was at stake. I would defend my position. I would attend their trial. I prepared myself carefully for what would be a battle of the wits. It's time. Yes. Which sweater will you wear? All of them. His failure to arrive must be seen as a dissension. It must be seen as... His inability to tell the time. Can't we start without him? Don't fuck this up. Give me your hands. You are surrealism. Is he with you? Gentlemen, I apologize for my late arrival. I have a cold. Dali? Yes, Breton. Does Dali understand the seriousness of this evening? Does Dali understand why he's here? Yes, I am here because I am a genius. In order to become the world's most successful artist, it is necessary to have a plan of action. The Divine Dali's plan was both simple and earth-shattering. Be sure that your ears are open. Step one. If you wish to conquer the world of art, you must discover your genius at an early age. Don't run with the herd. At school, I was unlike the others. If indeed Dali has genius, comes responsibility. We have a litany of accusations. I have uh, prepared a statement. We have questions which demand answers. Dali has been absent from many extremely important meetings and has acted directly against the laws decreed in our manifestos. It will entertain you. Mm. Uh, may I read it? Questions must be answered. Answer the questions. My statement will solve all your riddle. The regulations state that every member may express himself freely. Why have you not attended our meetings? My statement, it has an interesting odor. Read the statement. Thank you very much. Step two, find a mentor. Every artist needs a champion. I chose the Pope of Surrealism. Breton was a big fish. Feared, respected, 
tremendously polite with stranger. When Dali first visited Paris with his friend Bunuel to make their surreal film blockbuster. <laughs> Dali knew that the Breton's favor would give him gravitas. Superbly paranoiac, Gunwell. That was nothing, really. I found it absolutely degrading. Congratulations. You're too kind. Breton, I'm, uh, I'm pleased you came. The film held the viewer. May Breton meet the collaborator? Ah, oh, yeah, well, we call it collaboration, but I did most of the work. The I, that was me. Hello, sir. Darling? This is the greatest honour in all my life. Uh, get up, please. Good well. It's a revolutionary work. Oh, I love the ants. I'd like to show you a painting. An appointment can be made. I have one here. It is my dream. A deeply disturbing dream. Yes, I am astonishing. No? Yeah, well, I'm a success, Breton. Now, my second film... This man, there's a stain on his shorts. He shit. He shit himself. Shit? Yes, he uh, shit in his short. You painted a man with shit in his shorts? Yes. You've painted shit? He's an adolescent. You like my painting? He's talentless, isn't he, Breton? <laughs> I prefer the bits without the shit. Breton recognized talent when he saw it. He summoned the poet Eluard and Eluard's mysterious Russian wife, Gala. The problem is the shit. Shit? He has a fondness for it. Unfortunate. He is, however, amusing. The rarity. Shit. Despite the shit. Breton believes he should be invited to join the group. The Surrealists are in need of new blood. Blood. Sounds like a provincial fruitcake. But if he can make you laugh, he must possess some kind of genius. Yes. Garner's comments are disregarded because they're intended purely to insult. Animosity based on personal history is always unhelpful. Does Eluard have a view? Admit it, Breton. You've always wanted to touch my breasts. Gala's habit of eating her lover's ears precludes her inclusion in conversation. Hello, Anne. Paris? Yes. Dali should be brought to Paris. Um, do the other ones feel like a little trip to Spain? <laughs> To be the greatest artist in the world, you need inspiration. Someone who can get your creative juices flowing. Step three, find a muse. Gala would be my muse. She was the ideal combination of a nymphomaniac and witch. With a gaze, that could pierce backwards. Many of the Sorel artists had enjoyed their inspirational qualities. Much to Breton's disgust. When she and Eluard came to collect me, it was destiny that Gala would be mine. Thank you. When meeting your muse for the first time, be sure to make an indelible first impression. Order of the Ram. You must look superb. How do you do? Gala. 
Your mules will be suitably dazzled. My god, you're a revolting bastard. So, is Dali the new blood the group requires? <laughs> <laughs> He's preposterously arrogant, lacks discipline, he wears shit in his hair. Yes, he's a natural member of the group. Philosophically? Sees himself as a facilitator. Facilitating what, exactly? The objectification of the surreal world in the most dramatic and fetishistic way possible. A million times the technical in my studio. Hello. Please. The objectification of a surreal world. Dali said that. He also said he wants to be a millionaire. Go then. Millionaire. More humor, you see. That's good. What does the poet think? I liked him. Where are you going? India. Bring me back a nice puppet. Yes. You coming, darling? No. I've tied it. Well, you like it. <laughs> well, it's um, horrible. Paris, the capital of all world art. It is important for the artist to ingratiate himself with the people of London, but any artist wishing to conquer the world must first conquer Paris. <laughs> Attending fashionable parties is a must. I presented myself as a glamorous and sophisticated dandy. Max, darling, meet Victor. He's a nihilist. Or is it a Marxist? I forget. It's something very clever anyway. Both, actually. And neither. Have you seen my manifesto? Not for me, dear. Caress Crosby through the most dazzling parties. Hello, sweetie. Are you all right? You're a shy one. Are you an artist? <laughs> you need some champagne. What is that you're drinking? Milk. <laughs> Charming, sweetie. Charming. Surrealism was a systemization of confusion. 
Surrealism appears to create order. The purpose of this order is to render the idea of system of suspect by association. Enough. Dali lectures the progenitors of surrealism. But my friend, you have forgot its essence. You look at me and your eyes focus and form a question mark above my head. Breton still hopes that he and Dali can stand together. I continue my statement. Oh, somebody shut him up! Let the boring man continue. Please. Your yacht has an opinion. Sorry, now it's gone. Uh, oh, yeah, um, what was the bit about shackles again? I reiterate, uh, surrealism is destructive, but it uh, destroys only what he considers to be a shackle, limiting our vision. Uh, I understood uh, immediately that I could uh, provide uh, the movement uh, quality it had uh, lack. If you get the chance to join a group of like minds, join. <laughs> Joining a group will give you instant credentials. Power, will you begin? Knock, knock. Who's there? The King of England. Yes, enter out of curiosity. No, lacks style. No, I wasn't expecting you. Um, yes but in silence. What is going on? I have no idea. Wait, down. Now, for our newest member, a green drink. Perhaps our greenest yet. Being part of an important artistic movement impresses people, rich people. And you must make an impression. You know a, a good story about a dream, don't you? See, si. yes. I imagine that I see the dream I had. I see a very respectable man, for example, like my own father, and perched on top of his head, a little sculptured owl. Who's there? Velasquez. No. Dull evening predicted. No. Too classical. No. Monarch flatterer. Um, yes. But in silence. You always say that. What does Dali think? Yes, of course, Velasquez. <laughs> Dali's reasoning? I would like his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> that answer is not radical. It's amusing. Breton recognizes humor. You see the very respectable man. You see the oil is perched on top of his head. And you have remembered that although it is a stylized owl, this face is quite uh, realistic, no? You see this in your mind? Can you see what is perched on the top of the head of the owl? It's unusual to see a popular member of the avant-garde. <laughs> How far can he go? As far as you want him to. Where have you hidden your paintings today, senor? In your socks or down your trousers? <laughs> I do like your uh, moustache. It's such a little one, no? Uh, drinks! Green drinks, Breton? No. In honor of our amusing Spanish friend, glasses of milk all round. Breton is in high spirits. 
Mm. Shall we have an orgy to celebrate? Ignore the Russian. Do you want to be pure? Ignore the prig. Do you want to be famous? You are following Dali's plan. You are now past the halfway stage, and the world is starting to pay attention. What are your plans for Paris? Uh, to form a secret bread society and back off 15 meter law. Very practical, I'm sure. Ask him about sex. He's very good on the question of sex. Sex, Mr. Dali? For uh, two days, I haven't been able to uh, localize my libido. Libido. What do you do for pleasure? For pleasure? Mm. Uh, Dali uh, spit on a portrait of his uh, dead mother. Oh, <laughs> oh Catalonian comedy. <laughs> I would like to exhibit the one dog made from one hedge, one small pile of the elephant sheet, one rhinoceros pickling for my hide. He's paranoid critical, no? He's uh, beautiful, hideous, he's ignoble. <laughs> Bored with the restraints of convention, Dali reinvents for his own purposes. Uh, the people of Paris should wear a baguette instead of hat, no? Describe our Spanish friend in one word. Someone. Paranoid. Critical. He's a bit mad. No. The only difference between Dali and a crazy man is Dali is not crazy. Boulevardier. Look closer at the head of the owl, and there, you see it? Yes. Forming a strange crown above the cruel face, a beautifully shaped, sumptuous piece of doom, oh. shaped into a roll. <laughs> My own delivery. <laughs> oh. 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 You're a genius. That's brilliant. Psychological headpiece. <laughs> a superb turd. It's Louis. Yes, Louis. And ignominious. Is your anecdote for sale? <laughs> we are going to be very rich. Did I tell you that I'm now a divorcee? Why does Dali allow himself to be flattered? Why does he make art that flatters, so that it in turn can be flattered? He seeks out the company of the rich and the aristocratic. He revels in the attention. He panders to their vanity. He prostitutes the name of this movement to entertain their pleasure. Do we exist merely as, as, as a vehicle to propel Dali into the, into the boardrooms and salons of the world? The divine Dali has not the power to stop people admiring him. But Dali enjoys it. Why not? I enjoy cretinizing people. I enjoy it when people enjoy to be cretinized. Every single moment of my life is enjoyable. So Dali admits to this vanity. I do not think that popularity is a crime. I do not think that popularity is incompatible with being the best of the Soral artist. Reactionary! Gala has brought you to this decision. She's got old scores to settle. She leads you like a... Then he is willingly led. The 
faith and trust that Dali puts in Gala is entirely misplaced. It's widely known that she betrays you at every opp- She's doing it now! I know. I am the king of the Kukold. Gala became my blood, my erotic oxygen. Gala knew I needed a taking in hand. What are you calling this one? Great Master Vector! Great? Hey, you! Do you like sex? Yes, miss. Nice, aren't they? Yes, I will marry you. Yes, Louis. To be the world's greatest artist, you must be controversial. You need to suck. This is very easily achieved. Just remember that all subjects are fair game. Nothing is out of bound for your imagination. Ruffle a few feathers. Great is dear. Why are they critical? Hmm? Does not everybody spit on a woman who bring them into the world? My father won't talk to me. I've been totally disinherited. We have nothing? Nothing. Only poverty. Oh, don't worry. Soon we'll have everything. Surrealism has been insulted, and the grammar is up. Dali risks weakening his work entirely and reducing it to a mere psychopathological document. Well, my work is a psychopathological document. Freud will study it. The psychopathological author is not concerned with the world. The world is concerned with him. The people of the world should not be interested in any individual's dirty laundry. But uh, the world is interested in the dirty laundry of stranger. My psychopathological freakiness fascinates them. Yes. Breton fears Dali has a point. Ah. Understand that Dali has two paths he may take. The path of virtue and genius, and the path of vice and talent. Did you write this? Yes. <laughs> Not good enough. Now, taking the path of 
virtue and genius will enable Dali to create works of substance and build a creditable legacy. The path of vice and talent, well, money, popularity, probably, but edification, doubtful. You poke him in the eye. Hmm. Dali forgets that Breton was once a Dadaist. Na -poo -poo. Na -poo -poo. A serious movement, a groundbreaking movement. To be a Dadaist, one needed balls. It would be an honor if you were to call me Salvadore. It is uh, the name I share with my father and my dead brother. to Dali's obsessions. Why does Dali insist upon trying to shock everybody? Why does Dali go beyond trying to shock everybody and try to shock the surrealists? I follow the tradition of the radical. These facile attempts to shock are ultimately empty and worthless. If Dali truly wanted to shock, then he should shock with the truth. The political truth. We'd welcome that. You have said that everything is political. Therefore, my shit is political, my spit is political, and my dead mother is political. That's very true, of course. Oh, shut up, your yacht. Once you have upset everybody, you'll need to justify what you have done. Having a coherent philosophy and plus will help you to do this. This is the most important point. Also, to be a success, the artist must uh, create a few images that will be remembered for the rest of eternity. Everything you cook tastes like my handkerchief. Well, make more money and we'll eat better food. Nobody must ever know that we are poor. Do the washing up. I'll be back in two hours. Object come together in the mind of a genius, something hypnogogic happen. In order to match up here, this is my paranoia critical method. Dali does not need the drugs for this. Dali is a drugs. Why don't you try it with a masterpiece under your belt? You are ready to become a brand. You must make your name more important than your art. You must commodify yourself. Leave all decisions to your muse. She will know how to market you. Psst. I've managed to get the man from Chanel. And he's brought his family. Inebriated gloves. Surrealist studies have shown that alcohol excites the sexual nature of fingers <laughs> and increases the desire to copulate. What about these? <laughs> Prism spectacles <laughs> for those long, boring journeys by rail. New York will love this stuff. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be interested in a shoe which produces milk. No. I have a hat which produces sperm. <laughs> no. What about you, little man? Does anything interest you? All this stuff would look uh, great in my bedroom. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> the bastards wouldn't buy them. I've been everywhere. My feet ache. My love, look. Yeah, try this. They enable the wearer to see what their fingers see, and they give the impression of... Uh, well... Well, that's not gonna help my feet. Yeah, try this. Bouncy boots. Bouncy boots. Bounce, bounce. Fuck off with your bounce. I don't understand. Nobody want to buy them. I think perhaps Dali overestimates the sophistication of Parisian society. The avant-garde is never popular. As Breton once remarked to Duchamp, if an idea doesn't work, have another one. I must adjust uh, my ambition. Very good. Ingenuity should be expended wisely. Um, we haven't seen Dali at our meetings recently. Ah, yes, I've been very, very busy. Impossible invasion, a sural object. Everyone will want them. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, building a park at Boutemol in uh, uh, Park of the Theme. The theme will be uh, suralism. The host of the park will be a man-sized mouse. He stand on two legs with a gigantic gear and can talk. His name is uh, Mikel. Mikel the Mouse. <laughs> you have much better taste than the rest of your family. It was very wise of you to return. Do you like a hot, soapy bath? Yes, I do. Good. And do you like to uh, play? In the bath? Yes, I do. <laughs> Here's a little something for you to play with. Soluble fish. See? <laughs> She's gone already. <laughs> Want to buy one? I'll buy the lot. When can you deliver them? Buy these two, and you can watch yourself having a wank. Your objects. We're, we're not about fashion here. People are putting these things onto their coffee tables to show off to their friends. It's making the name Surrealism represent a series of novelty tricks. Does Dali promise to stop making them? These are surreal objects. The fact that people like them does not make them any less surreal. Other people make them? Yes, but other people don't sell them. It's bad taste. Yes. yes. The lobster telephone is as decorative as a testicle. Our crab phone is much better. Hello? 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 What are you doing? What? What? What's the What's the the, who's there? the milk shoe has no resonance whatsoever. Actually, I thought it was quite thought. Oh, silence your yacht! Milk for the children of the unemployed, not to let Dali win favour with the aristocracy. Do the aristocracy not read your own work, Argon? Your reputation now requires that you must destroy the competition. Dali had by now outgrown the surrealist group. It is a ruthless and a beautiful truth that to succeed, you must destroy those with whom you have the closest affinity. The best course of action is to humiliate them. Only your yacht is a friend and your yacht is a cretin. No, never mind. This is perfect. They won't like this. They won't like it at all. It looks just like him. And the buttock. What exhibition have the surrealists boycotted? The Salon des Independents. We'll exhibit it there. Just uh, make it bigger. Ah, 
not getting away with it this time. It's blatant piss-taking. Agreed. There have already been scuffles between the fascists and the communist sympathizers. It's time to take sides, and we better be fucking careful about it. Have you seen what he's done to Lenin's buttocks? Breton has heard the rumors. Preening peacock. Puffed up prick! Surrealists will take intellectual physical action. Breton has brought his special cane. Have you brought your cane? We've brought our cane. I've got my special stick. Actually, I forgot mine. Breton hopes that your yacht has a note from his mother. But never mind. Surrealists are armed. We should ignore the other works. We have one aim. Agreed. Where is he today? Just... Your friends will be angry and hurt when you betray them. But don't let that bother you. You must revel in your newfound potency. Marrying your muse is a good way to rub their faces in it. Defending buttock. The enigma of William Tell. It's rather good, isn't it? It's a travesty of everything we stand for. Yes, of course it is. It's pathetic. Our enigmas are always better than this. I know. If I believed in God, I'd call that blasphemous. What's the matter, Breton? Has your courage deserted you? No. That's not let it. That's me. Let's slash the fuck out of it. Lenin, we have proposed, is a fitting and heroic icon of surrealist faith. Dali's painting, The Enigma of William Tell, flies directly in the face of that doctrine. The figure is not Lenin, he's William Tell. He's a father figure. The painting shows the surrealist revolt of the son against his father. Obvious, hmm? The figure is unmistakably Lenin. Is it Breton? It is a direct adaptation of the dream I had the night before. If I saw the figure of Lenin in my dream, then that is why you see Lenin. I have automatically transcribed my dream. Have you no respect for the man? He is an authority figure, a father figure. I revere him, I hate him. It does not really matter. We have a responsibility even to our dreams. My responsibility, you have said, is faithfully to render my dream through art. This I have done. Should I uh, dream tonight that you and I are screwing, then tomorrow morning it is my responsibility to paint all our best position. I shouldn't advise it, my friend. Dali prefers the train accidents where the third-class passengers suffer most. How can he justify this? Dali has said that his friends' mishaps delight him. How can he enjoy the pain of his friends? This is wrong. This is 
anti-proletarian, anti-humanitarian, and revolting. Does he make these assertions just to taunt us? No, this is a misunderstanding. Though it is true I have said these things, uh, like the Marquis de Sade before me, I am unlike most men. I am uh, truly a surreal man. Uh, this accident or the, the pain uh, suffered by my friend give me pleasure. This pleasure is explicitly sexual and give me erection. I am the victim of a sexual perversion so unique to myself that the expression of this view cannot therefore be dangerous. You're an enemy of the proletariat. How can I be? I do not give a fig about the proletariat. Then you're an asshole. Have you no sense of the political tensions in this city? Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. The most detestable man on our planet. Would Dali agree with this statement? All disaster are beautiful to the Soralist. Uh, earthquake, a rail accident, a fire. Hitler is a mass murderer. So was uh, the Marquis de Sade. Both men uh, pushed back the boundary of taste to fantastical extreme. Dali admires mass murder. A surrealist must create his own logic, then uh, never be consistent with it. Dali admires Hitler. He is uh, a magnificent icon. That kind of insupportable attitude gives me the right to call you a, a cunt! That's exactly what we take you for. Breton asked Dali a direct question. Yes. Hitler is a Cecil B. DeMille of massacre and death. He is a surrealist. Expel this man! He is a false friend. friend. Patience, gentlemen. Now, Picasso is an artist Dali greatly admires. Picasso is a communist. Picasso is Spanish. So am I. Uh, Picasso is uh, a genius. Me too. Uh, Picasso is a communist. Neither am I. I have a short statement to make. Well, can't it wait? No. Giving this man a platform in which to speak goes against every fibre in my body. I can no longer justify bearing witness to his criminal ideas. I will conclude my statement by resigning from this movement. I am no longer a surrealist. From this day forth, I will only be a communist. dream of Hitler. Sometimes he's dressed as a woman. Sometimes he is a woman. Sometimes he is a man with six foreskin, twelve balls. I see him as a guardian angel too, standing over a grave. Filled with the dying. I see Hitler is looking at these people, their bones already sticking out. He's a spectacular sight. Salvador, please. Why you disapprove me, hmm? This is your first manifesto. Soralism is thought dictated in absence of all control 
by reason and outside all moral and aesthetic preoccupation. I know it by heart. You understand? I am the true embodiment of this fate, more than any of you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Salvador Dali. Enter. Yes. His logic is faultless. I assure you of my unconditional surrealism. Is he gone? <clears throat> Losers. What? Free your mind. What? So Just leave it. What? Well, maybe he's got a point. That Hitler stuff was great. Wasn't that good? <laughs> Why don't you come up with something then? Well, maybe I will. Yeah. Maybe I'll go well, and get on to it. I'll do it now. Yeah. yeah see you later. Well, I'll see yeah, you later. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you find him, Breton? I like it. We'll use that. My path was now chosen. It was time to leave Paris to the rioting mobs of communists and fascists. We set off for a land where all the money lives. In the end, the world's greatest artist must be the richest. Do you not think? Hmm? with us tonight on BBC4 as Kirsty Walk meets a Lithuanian sculptor whose subjects have ranged from Lenin and Marx to Frank Zappa. Tales from Europe, next.